What's up Libra? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of April. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment and share. It really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So please um, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of April. Any love messages for my Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of April. I mean, I've seen the King of Cups and the Two of Cups a couple of times when I was shuffling Libra. We've got the Star card, the Judgment and the World. Wow, all major arcana Libra. Okay, we've got the Five of Wands in the reverse with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, oh Libra, so Five of Wands in the reverse and the Knight of Wands in the reverse in the overall. So you're letting go of some kind of a, a struggle or a conflict, there's a person here, Knight of Wands, this could feel very stop, start, on, off, maybe a lot of attraction, Knight of Wands in this kind of energy is traditionally like the, in the reversal, it's someone that's very transient, um, the player or whatever, but I mean, it seems to still be something that is connected to your wishes with the star card, but then there's a judgment card and a world. So the judgment card um, and the world, I mean, judgment is decisions, can be a comeback around. On the other hand, the world is a completion. So maybe there's another swoop in and there's a sense of you having hope for this, but at the same time, there also seems to be a closing of a cycle. Um, so let me just get a little bit more. Two of Cups, which I saw when I was shuffling. So the world, you know, the world card can also be an accomplishment. So let me just see. The star card is your wishes coming through. So Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Um, Nine of Swords in the reverse, getting over anxiety around it, getting over conflict. So maybe the Knight of Wands is coming forward and not in not so much of a Knight of Wands kind of an energy. Let's have a look. Magician card. So something's manifesting here. Um, and then we've got the Queen of Swords, which is your energy. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords and the Lovers card in the reverse with the Death card in the reverse. Okay, so I do see, Libra, that there seems to be maybe unfinished business with this person, but also potentially you having an opportunity to speak your truth, honor your truth. Maybe that's where the accomplishment is coming from. Um, maybe you are, you know, resolving some conflict with a person, but then maybe also moving forward in a, in a better direction. I mean, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is about you maybe making yourself single and available. Um, but not losing hope on this situation, if that makes sense. Because, yeah, it seems to be that this person's coming through and I think that there's a part of you that still has faith and hope and belief that this could manifest into, into your Ten of Cups. But also there's an understanding that what they're coming in with is not, like maybe they're not coming in with the best energy or you just don't want to keep repeating the same cycle. So there could be a conversation around that. Maybe there is a resolving of conflict or the truth that you're speaking or the cut that you're making for now anyway is allowing you to actually manifest more of what you actually want, okay? You're very focused on 10 of cups and two of cups. So you want that happily ever after, you want that soul connection. Um, but you're also understanding that the dynamic between you and this person is leading to a lovers in the reverse where it doesn't feel very fulfilling. It feels a bit one-sided, but it is unfinished, death card in the reverse. So there's a return here. Okay, so this person could be sweeping back in. I'm gonna get some cards on their behavior, um, but there's also seemingly a test for you to speak your truth. Okay, um, Queen of Swords, she makes cuts when things are not in alignment with what she wants and the star card is your hopes and wishes. I think she's not afraid to make cuts or set a boundary. So you could actually just be feeling a real sense of accomplishment because you're gonna be setting a boundary in a situation with someone that I think caused you a bit of anxiety, but you're letting go of that. Okay, maybe the anxiety was, will I ever get what I, what I hope for in this situation? I mean, I have a seven of pentacles here, so it looks like you've invested in it and you've been waiting to see how things play out. Um, three of swords and it's caused you hurt feelings. 
So there's some separation energy here or some hurt feelings. Maybe it's a third party situation. That's for a, a portion of you. Um, yeah, maybe it's really just about you sort of airing something out with this person when they swoop back in. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. The high priestess in the reverse. If you're in silence with this person, it's like breaking the silence and for a cups and actually <laughs> Libra, it's almost like you're now sort of looking at something and thinking, okay, the way that it is, is not really what I want for a cups. It's sort of not the cup for me, at least for not right now. Okay. Um, and you're focused on manifesting more of actually what you do want. And maybe there is something else. I mean, let's have a look at what's manifesting for Libra. Mm. King of Swords in the reverse, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so in the very least, what you've been trying to manifest, Libra, Seven of Pentacles, Magician, you're coming up as a Queen of Swords in the upright, and this person is coming up as a King of Swords in the reverse. So there seems to be something that you're not trusting in this situation. Or in the very least, you feel like you're getting breadcrumbed. Okay, the Knight of, sorry, the Six of Pentacles. Um, you feel like you've been putting in all the effort. Mm, King of Swords in the reverse can be fickle. So maybe this person does kind of come across like they're going to do more, they're going to put in more effort, but they come up in their behavior very much like a Knight of Wands and a bit fickle. They don't follow through. Okay, so something has me telling you that there's a sense of wrapping that up like you're not going to do that anymore um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gone forever but i think that you're going to be feeling very confident in yourself in the way that you handle this right queen of swords in the upright she sets boundaries okay so we've got um virgo gemini energy with the magician and the lovers card and we've got um scorpio Aquarius, double Scorpio actually. Okay, so, oh, and the High Priestess Pisces energy. So you've been ignoring your intuition, but I think that your intuition is becoming clear because Queen of Swords sees the truth. And the High Priestess in the reverse means things are starting to come to light or at least personal revelations. And I do think also if you've taken a step back, this is coming out of silence. So you might be expressing something, maybe you're taking the initiative to say something. Um, but I think this person's swooping back in because there's a lot of cards to say it's not finished. Um, there's a comeback around with that judgment card. Okay, so let me get a little bit on this person, their feelings and intentions towards Libra. Feelings and intentions towards Libra, please spirit in second half of April. I mean, I just saw the hanged man. So I, I just feel like they, they leave you hanging Libra. Okay. Um, yeah, five of pentacles, okay. Let's see, five of wands. Okay, Libra, well, there's a five of wands in the reverse here. So there seems to be some conflict or some drama. Three of cups in the reverse. Could be involving a love triangle or a third party situation. If it's not love, guys, it could be unhealthy um, influence of a friend or, friend or a friend group, or you're all connected through friends, something like that. But three of cups in the reverse. There seems to be also be a lack of joy between the two of you because of some kind of a conflict or a drama um yeah and five of ones also maybe they feel like they have to compete for your attention now because maybe you felt like for a long time you've been competing for theirs okay the knight of pentacles in the reverse there seems to be lack of forward movement here um seven of wands i still think they're going to persist towards you and Seven of Wands is defending territory. So for some of you, you're dealing with a person that whilst they're not coming to the table to commit, Knight of Pentacles is a complete, in the reverse, is like a complete halt when it comes to coming forward and, and giving something committed. Because in the upright, it would just be slow. But in the reverse, it's like there's no plan to move forward and actually offer you that solid commitment. Um, seven of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse, this is like the caught out card. So, and the High Priestess in the reverse means maybe something has come to light and you, this could have already happened and there's a, there's a conflict or a drama now between the two of you. And I feel like maybe they, they know that they've got caught out or there's been something just not quite right in this situation, caught out or called out, um, you know, but they're defending themselves. And I think that they're also persisting towards you Let's see. I mean, if you're dealing with someone that has a third party tie, what I'm hearing is, is maybe this person um, gives you the impression that they are coming to the table and, and they're going to 
like maybe they tell you that they're going to leave that situation but it just sort of drags on or there's just been some outside meddling or interference here and maybe that that's come to light um, like they're aware there's something here that they they know it's like they know that they've kind of been caught out being sneaky king of wands though they're taking action towards you libra okay that's the action forward king determination very attracted to you but we've got a two of pentacles here so this is back forth energy this person's also juggling lots of things so they could um you know have trouble with work-life balance or they're juggling options sorry libra i'm just saying um or they feel like you're juggling options now that two of pentacles and the five of wands and the seven of wands so maybe they they want to come in they want to defend their territory but they're also not coming across as ready to really commit to you libra so what else is their intention three of swords three of swords three of swords there's hurt feelings here between the two of you so so I think that there's an opportunity, like I said, they're going to come in. There, there might be an opportunity to like resolve this conflict, resolve the hurt feelings. I think you're going to feel, be feeling a sense of happiness in maybe speaking your truth or honoring yourself or clarifying something. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. And then there's the Ace of Wands in the reverse with the Two of Wands in the reverse with the Queen of Swords. Okay. That's you, Libra. So I think that you may have spoken your truth in the past but you may also be coming across as someone that's not going to take any shit um, maybe there's an awareness of that um, but they do want to talk to you but at the same time they don't have much of a plan in the moment at the moment two of wands it's in the reverse so they don't have a plan on how to move forward and the ace of wands in the reverse well maybe they feel like you've lost attraction for them already anyway um, okay like i said that six of swords they could feel like you're just moving on moving forward um yeah i don't know libra i mean at the same time look i've got a two of cups and ten of cups i mean six of so queen of swords ten of cups two of cups you could have other energies right and there might be someone else that has really caught your eye i do feel that you have for a while had a sense that this person felt like they were the one that you saw for the future but it just looks like hmm they're not coming up as very stable or reliable at this point. So let me have a look with the Mystic Black Rose mask. Pretending, not genuine. Well, that's like that King of Swords in the reverse. Decision, uncertain, stay or leave, wrong reasons, contemplating. That's that back and forth, back and forth. I think they're tied up in something else and they can't decide for a lot of you or they're just indecisive about what they want, not because you're not worthy of being wanted or anything libra but you know i mean king of wands can be if they're in their shadow energy they can be just a little bit too um all about sex and fun and not as committed that's an unhealthy king of wands not every king of wands also could be dealing with an entrepreneur and a person that's trying to juggle their finances or having trouble um with work-life balance and that could also be the conflict going on Though for a lot of you, I don't like this three of cups in the reverse with the seven of swords in the reverse. It's like someone here, someone feels caught out for something. I mean, I don't think it was you, Libra. I think you've sort of called this person out or caught them out for something involving outside energies. Pursuit, chasing, resilience. So they, they are coming in to chase you. They're coming in. Um foresight it's it's in the future a few days to weeks i don't think it's a few months i think it's more like a few days to weeks okay um trapped stuck mental prison captive revenge reunion reconciliation okay second chance i did say that mm, it's like this person there's some kind of a negative energy here okay because i've got the revenge card punishing getting even retaliation you know, maybe this person is tied up in a situation uh, it's hard to sort of cut themselves free from because you, they could be dealing with someone that's quite vindictive. Now, again, I'm not making any excuses for a person that's a cheater or a liar or any of that, but I'm just saying is that there's some kind of a third party influence here that might be very controlling and they feel very stuck, locked down mental prison captive could be related to their work or something. I don't know. Maybe they have, um, I don't know, just someone unhealthy around them that's causing a lot of conflict. Escape, 
And it's like they're avoiding dealing with it, avoiding pushing away, hiding. And one more, okay, tether. So intuition, telepathy, dreams, heart songs. So there seems to be some kind of a deeper connection, as I said, two of cups and the ten of cups here, but I also feel that um, there's a lot of complications here, Libra. Like you have the lover's card, but it's in the reverse. So it tells me that it's like maybe it's not ready or all this drama has led to this being quite unfulfilling for you. Dating, dating sites. Well, you might have met this person on a dating site. I don't know, but hooking up one night stands. Well, that's that night of wands in the reverse. So that's kind of how it's played out. You haven't felt very good about that, I think, Libra. And then one more. Yeah, repeated patterns. Exactly. Deja vu, repeated patterns. So I feel like they might be coming back in Libra. And I feel like you want to you want to close the cycle with that world card and you're going to feel good about that. I think you're going to speak your truth. You're going to close the cycle out, maybe air things out. And not in such a dramatic way. I mean, I think that there might be an opp opportunity to just let go of the conflict around it so you can move forward and feel good and feel better. Um, yeah, exactly. Coffee date, meeting up, discussions. They may want to, you know, take you out for a coffee or meet up. Um, there's going to be a discussion. Okay. All right, Libra. I, I could keep going all day, but I won't. Um, I hope that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.